you know, it's me, your little boy, something. You know, <laughs> there was a saying that what God has for you is for you, and it can never give it out to someone else. You have to understand that what God has for you is for you, and your enemy can't stop what God has for you. They can't stop it. They can't take it. They can't destroy it. It does not matter their effort. That's why you need to understand that there are a lot of people who have made a move to stop what God has for you. Yes, they know that, you know, God has a greater plan for you. Indeed, they know. They absolutely know that God's plan for you is great. God, you know, thought towards you is great. But many of them... Want, they have tried their possible best to stop it. You know, this is why at the beginning, you know within yourself how you started life. You know the struggle you have gone through. You know the difficulties. You know, this is why sometimes at the, at the beginning, the enemy always tried to, you know, to throw some certain storm in our life as he chooses. And sometimes we get to the point where we feel so tired. We feel so weak. We feel like, ah, let's all, it, it, is a, it is a time for us to give up. It is a time for us to do it, to surrender because that is what the enemy wants. And if you are at that point right now or you are going that, that stage right now, I'm encouraging you to keep pushing. To keep pushing. Because it does not matter what the enemy may try to set on your way. They can never conquer you. They can never bring you down. They can never destroy you. Because what God has for you is for you and you alone. What God made for you is for you and you alone. What God destined for you is for you and you alone. What God promised and what God has already released for you is for you alone. So you have to understand that. Let them gather. Look at it. Nobody ever believed that God was arranging for Esther to become a queen. Hey God. Am I talking to someone? Nobody ever believed that God was preparing Esther to become a queen. Despite of her distress, her difficulties, all her pain, God was arranging her to become a queen so you have to understand that the tougher it is the greater it is so you need to understand as a choosing that people will try to do or to stop you but what god has for you hey hey is for you alone that thing you know when god said this is yours this is made for you let the enemy surround you. Let them roll around what God has for you. It's exactly for you. This is why you should not look at the storm around you and conclude the fact that you are not yet blessed. Because look at it, Esther was going through all these storms. But God has already placed this ahead of her. <laughs> God has already placed this ahead of Esther. To become a queen. But Esther was still what in pain, was still what in delay, was still facing what obstacles, pain, frustration. But God keep her for a greater purpose. All I'm trying to tell you is this not only to encourage you or to inspire you, to motivate you, is that what God has for you can never be taken from you. It does not matter how long God wants you to be there. Look at it. David was so troubled. Joseph was so troubled. But none of what God has for them was shared to others. God keep it. He was waiting for them to arrive. He was waiting for the perfect moment to give it to them. He was waiting for a perfect season to give it to them. So what God has for you is for you alone. Don't look at people who are trying to attack you. Don't look at people who are bad biting you. Don't look at people who are mocking at you. Don't look at people who are banging up against you. Always know that there is something that God has kept for you, which is only for you. Remain blessed.